Good enough. Ready to go. So not all trees are good for making spoons out of, and, uh, but there are a few that are. And we, so we're going to be looking for something like a cherry or maple tree. And I don't really want to waste a bunch of wood, the wood that we don't need. So we're going to be looking for either a branch on a bigger tree that we can cut off without hurting it, or we're going to be looking for a junk tree, a small tree that's already damaged and needs to come down anyway. So here's a small maple tree here, and if you look, and it's got some damage on it from other trees falling around it, and it will probably never be a very healthy tree because of the wounds on it. So that's a good candidate. Can I get all the way? I'm not gonna drop it towards you. It'll take me a minute to cut it down. And I or, or let's see, I need to be over here because I'm swing left-handed. Alan, come up here, I wanna show you something. Mmm, that smells good. Can I smell? Yep. It smells sweet. Ooh. So, I'm not very good with an axe, because I don't do a lot of tree chopping with an axe. But what I'm doing is, I'm cutting at an angle from up here, mm -hmm. and that like loosens big chips. And then I cut in from the bottom, and that cuts the chips off. If I was just to try to cut straight in like this, just straight in, straight in, straight in, it would take a really long time to cut. But the wood cuts easiest at an angle. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm chopping down at an angle to uh, make big chips. So now we're ready to go around the other side, go around the back side mm -hmm. and cut from the other side. Not that way. <laughs> Alan, you want to see what I'm doing? Now that there's no danger of the tree falling on you. So I'm, I'm cutting a section the, get I'm cutting a section of the butt of the tree to make our spoon out of. Is that like the best part? It's the biggest part. There we go. It's a sizable chunk of maple. Mm -hmm. Can I hold it? You think you can carry that? Too heavy. Too heavy? Maybe you'll have to carry the axe instead. That'll All right, we need to get the rest of this out of the way. Maybe we'll use the rest of this later for something. We'll at least use it for firewood. Here, you get that one over there. All right, let's go carve a spoon.
There's the mallet. Ah, here, can you hold the log? Oh, sure. Just hold it, keep it from tipping over. Hold it straight up. This is, the handle is coming out. Yeah, it's okay. Just keep it up there on the stump. Then I can't keep it up. Yeah, you can. I'm trying to. Here, turn loose. Let's see if we can split it. This thing's handy for more than just shaving. Oop, don't wanna hit that piece of metal though. <sighs> Marion, could you go ask mama to make us some cold lemonade? So now it's just hack off anything that doesn't look like a spoon, right? Right. And we could draw out a pattern on the wood, but I think I have a good enough idea of what I want that I don't have to do that. So right now I'm just trying to take off that heartwood, that dark heartwood right there, because mm. that is kind of doesn't look that great. And it also may be a little bit weaker because this tree was a little bit sick. So it may be a little bit weaker than the lighter wood. There we go. Yep. We got a little pinhole knot right there, but I don't think those will hurt anything. Okay, so the spoon is going to be oriented. The bolt, the bottom of the spoon will go like this. So we're gonna chop kind of an arched shape. I've got to be really careful chopping these notches because it's causing a weak spot right there. And if I'm not careful, I'll crack it. All right, from here, I think it's gonna be easier and safer for our project to use the draw knife. What do you got? Awesome, just here. Thank you. I want lemonade too. You want lemonade too? Mm -hmm. This is all for me. No, it's not. I no. want four cups. Well, 
Travis thought it was good. Were you waiting for more? Mm It's going to have a little bit of a curved handle, but I don't mind that at all. I think that's going to look cool. Me too. Me too. Um, lunch is ready whenever you want it. All right. Awesome. I'm getting hungry. Me too. Alan, could you go get my little carving chisels? Where are they? They are in the box of parts for the Mississippi rifle. Sure. In the house. I think I think those are on that um, shelf by the stove under the window. All right. Thank you. What else do you would you use a spoon like this for? Uh, soup. Big stuff. Ice cream. Ice cream. Um, oatmeal. Um, all kinds of things.
trying to round over the end a little bit. Well, it's mostly done. Just need to get some oil on it, I guess. Yeah. I don't know if we'll be able to get that blackishness off of there. I think it's just oxide. It's not actually dirt. Not very curved. No, it actually turned out a little bit less crooked than I thought it would. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite details. Me too. Mine too. Mine too. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Nice spoon. Maybe we'll make something with it. Here go. Scoop. Scoop, scoop. <laughs> scoop. Scoop. 